the electric car. We've all heard about it being the car of the future. In reality, the future is here, with thousands of Americans already taking to the road in fully electric vehicles. And with concerns growing over skyrocketing gas prices and the effects of global warming, more and more consumers are looking to get plugged into the electric car movement. Right now in the industry, you have two different types of hybrid vehicles. You have an uh, internal combustion engine that has a electric assist motor, and then you have a hybrid that is an electric motor with a gasoline assist engine. Both of those platforms rely on gasoline. Uh, and the range of the batteries associated with them is very limited. The new crop of electric vehicles are pure electric. That means they run 100% on electricity. There's no dependence on two power plants in the vehicle. So the ownership experience is easy. You're only servicing one power plant, not two, and you have one power source, not two. Electric cars are nothing new, however. Over the last 15 years, various attempts have been made at making battery-powered vehicles mainstream. But slow and laborious charging methods and higher prices historically steered many drivers away. The uh, hybrid technology is not a perfect solution uh, for transportation. Hybrids account for only about 2% of total cars sold in the United States. And, and I say it's not a perfect solution because you need two power plants. You need both a gas engine and you need an electric motor and a battery. And we know from driving behavior, they're driving about 31 miles per day. We hear a lot about range anxiety and fulfilling customer needs. Convincing Americans that electric vehicles can be a practical and affordable part of daily life may be becoming easier. The new Nissan LEAF, the world's first mass-market 100% electric vehicle, promises to dispel any misconceptions about electric cars. This zero-gas and zero-emissions vehicle features innovative technology that improves charging methods, mileage, and performance. A pioneer in zero-emissions mobility, the Nissan LEAF has been called the gateway to a brave new electrical world. Nissan is the uh, only manufacturer globally who is marketing on a mass scale an all-electric zero-emission vehicle. Uh, the car itself here is, uh, is pretty unique. It is, it is built from the ground up. This is not a gas engine vehicle which has been converted to electric. Everything about the car is bespoke, designed for, uh, for electricity. We now have uh, about 12,000 owners, and the feedback we get about the vehicle really speaks to the innovative features. Um, it's a great driving experience, it's a real-world car, but it's also packed with technology and features which optimize the, uh, the experience. Uh, it gives indications of range, uh, it's, everything is linked to telematics and the navigation system. It, it's quite an exceptional and unique vehicle. Available in all 50 states by the summer of 2012, the LEAF will be produced at Nissan's brand new battery and vehicle assembly plant in Smyrna, Tennessee, where the car manufacturer has produced other vehicles in its lineup for more than 30 years. And while the technology may be new, Nissan's commitment to excellence, safety, and delivering a passionate and rewarding driving experience is exactly the same. In fact, the LEAF was named 2011's World Car of the Year the first thing to keep in mind about the Nissan LEAF is that it's five-star rated, both from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety and from the National Institute uh, of Highway Safety as well. So that's excellent, and for a brand new vehicle, you couldn't ask for a better result. The other thing to, to keep in mind uh, about the vehicle from a performance perspective, it is performing excellently. We have very few incidents of warranty complaints on the vehicle, and generally when the consumers get the vehicle, we call it the LEAF Smile it becomes their favorite vehicle to drive. And even if they bought it as a secondary vehicle in the household, it becomes the primary driver right away. Uh, so it is really a remarkable vehicle. It helps people learn a different way to move through life, and that is a way that is gas-free. For Buzz and Sandy Brainerd, purchasing an electric car was part of a decision to adopt a more sustainable lifestyle. Choosing the LEAF made sense for a number of reasons. It's no secret that gas prices are crazy and ridiculous so that's got to be the first thing you think about but then when you think about the benefits for the environment we have a 14 year old son who's who's been pushing us to do more and this is a great way to do it and after looking at the vehicle and um, researching it 
You know, we looked at some other hybrids as well, but um, the Leaf had everything we wanted. The technology was phenomenal. Um, it just fit for us, and it, it, it was just made a lot of sense. It's phenomenal that you can get a vehicle this awesome and a actually do something to help out the planet and, you know, maybe erase a little bit of our carbon footprint. It's the same as any other car, quite honestly. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that's different about this car than any other car I've owned, except that it's 100% electric. And that little piece brings a lot of freedom to it. So as far as the experience, other than it being a ton quieter, it operates like any other car. Nissan is just as concerned with sustainability as many Americans today. That's why it created the Nissan Green Program and has been recognized as an Energy Star Partner of the Year by the Environmental Protection Agency in both 2010 and 2011. For Nissan, the LEAF is just another step towards energy independence for generations to come.